Welcome back to Ready Controls. In this short video, we're going to talk about NOT functions. The NOT function is true if input is false. Technically, the NOT function is called as a inverter also because the output is always the inverse of the input. Symbol used is a round circle with input and output. NOT function, unlike other AND and OR, can only have one input. And this is how we represent if input A goes to this NOT gate, it will come back as a A bar. And the truth table here, since NOT has only one input, there are only two states, 0 and 1. And the output of the NOT gate is always inverse of the input. That's why it's 1 here when it's 0 and it's 0 when it's 1. Okay. Assigning uh, assigning a 1 or 0 uh, to a condition is arbitrary. But as we talked about the positive logic and negative logic, the positive logic where 1 is normally associated with the true or high, and a zero is normally associated with a false, low or off. Say for example, in our logic, logic one activates some device like a motor turning on and logic zero is to deactivate uh, the same motor, then y equal to zero, right? This is where not comes into picture if you had to change that from a conventional direction to a reverse direction. That's where not is used when a low condition must activate something and a not is used when a high condition must deactivate something. Let's look at the application of not using an example. If you had followed my previous videos where we talked about a tank uh, sequence. So here is what we need to do. Um, say, assume we have a tank and we have a valve which opens up and fills the tank. And we want the tank to be filled until this liquid uh, level switch is made. Once the level switch is made, we don't want the uh valve to come on right so what we are asking is hey let's write a a logic gate truth table and circuit representation for a solenoid valve that will open on if a selector switch on the machine is on and the level switch is not on right so we know it's an and condition so we'll drop in an and gate but we want when the selector switch is on we and the limit switch the level switch is not made right that's why we use a not indicator here and then that turns out the output y and here is the representation of the truth table and here is where the circuit comes in when the limit uh, level switch which is a normally open and that closes when we when the liquid is detected we turn on a control relay cr1 and use the normally closed contact of the control relay in series with the um, in series with the selector switch we will turn on the output y1 this is how not gates are used